Okay, so today we're talking about how to divide, and we're very familiar with the long division method, right guys? Thank you. You see, they're very enthusiastic. Let's dial it down a notch, though. Okay, so we're talking about division, and there's a new concept we're going to introduce called partial quotients, also known as what, guys? Hangman. Yeah, the hangman, because it looks almost like the beginning of a hangman game. Okay, but this is a really, really nice way to do this math, to do this division, because it's numbers that we know. Numbers like 10, numbers like 2, numbers like 5, numbers like, Four. give me another one. 4. Four. Four. What about 100? Do we like 100? Yeah. Okay. All right, thank you. So these numbers that are so much e easier to work with than like 7s or 8s or 9s work really well for this kind of division. Right, guys? Yeah. Okay, so if we're looking at this, we know that if we're dividing 464 by 4, we know that at least what is going to go into it. Who can raise their hand and tell me at least what is going to go into it? Where, where do we start with this? Yes, Ms. Jacqueline. Two. Two. We know that at least two is going to go into this. You're absolutely right. Can we go higher than that, though? What, what were we thinking before as far as what would go into this? Yes. 100! All right, thank you very much. I have a very enthusiastic young man here. So let's put 100 here, and I hope everyone's whiteboard right now looks like this one. So we put 100 here. Okay, because we know that 4 is going to go into 464 at least 100 times, and 100 is a nice, easy number to work with. Who can tell me what 4 now times 100, that right there, we're going to multiply across there. 4 times 100 is what, Mr. Dylan? Yell it out because you're on the other side of the room. 4 times 100 equals... 400. 400, very good. So then we, we, so we multiply across, we bring it down here, now we're going to subtract. What am I left with? Go ahead and blurt it out. 64! <laughs> okay, they are very enthusiastic today. We're going to dial it down a little bit though, guys. Okay, here we go. So we're left with 64. Who else can tell me what we at least know is going to go into four, to, to 64? Okay, what we at least know. I heard a really good number. What is that? Okay, so we at least know, is that right? Wait a second, wait a second. Let's think, let's think. Okay, 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 okay. He's getting close though, right? I heard another one, yes. 60? Not 60, 4 doesn't go into 60, uh, 60 times. Yes, go ahead. 5. 5 times, all right. So everyone's going to write the 5 there. Thank you. Now, 5 times 4 is what? Blurt it out. 20! All right, thank you. So now we're going to multiply. They're making sure that you can hear their voice. That's why they're yelling so loud. I hope we're not bothering, bothering the other class. So, okay. So, 5 times 4. Now, let's add it up. I'm sorry. Let's subtract it, rather. Let's not add it. Okay. So, 64 minus 20. Who can raise their hand and tell me what it is? Yes, Miss Yaxani. Um, 24. Let's see here. 64 oh, minus 40. 20. Go ahead. Nice. 44. 44. There we go. Thank you. Okay. Hey, wait a second. That's a nice number right there. Maybe we can maybe we can put this puppy to bed right now. Who can raise their hand now and tell me what number they know is definitely going to go into 44? Yes, Mr. Udi Skabuti. 11. 11. Okay. So now we put 11 there. 4 times 11 is? 40. Very good. Okay, so now we're going to subtract. And what are we left with? Zero. Beautiful. So now the beautiful process here is we've taken out numbers that we know. We took out that 100. We took out that 5. We took out that 11 in no particular order, just based on what we saw and what we knew. Nice and easy, right? We're taking off these little bites, however we see fit. Now the answer is as simple as looking at these numbers here and then adding them up. So on very quickly for me, just add these numbers up. I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna do the answer in a bright, beautiful green, because that means we nailed it. Uh, Mr. Diego, who's sitting so quietly, yes? 116. 116, so 100 plus five plus 11 is 116. That's our answer, it is that simple. It makes division a lot easier to work with. Do we like this method, guys? Yeah!
Thanks, folks. Great, great job.